Center and was inside the arena where the vice president just wrapped up that speech. Don, what did the vice president have to say? But she really had a huge crowd here, just thousands of people here. She talked about why she was running. She said that even though the polls are tight between, between she and former President Donald Trump, that do not pay attention to the polls because it's not done until everyone casts their vote. She also talking about how she enjoyed running as an underdog, and she was going to always put the lower class, working class, middle class people first in her campaign. Let's take a listen. We fight for a future where we build what I call an opportunity economy so that every American has the opportunity to own a home, to start a business, and to build wealth and intergenerational wealth. Harris also went on to tell the crowd that she is in the fight for America's future and she is committed to them. During her speech, lots of excitement and applause and standing ovations and, and music thumping the whole time. But what we also noticed, too, is there were two people protesting against the Israel-Hamas war. They were taken out. And the crowd, of course, immediately started chanting, Kamala, Kamala. And she decided to address what was going on and talked about how she and President Joe Biden are working 20 24-7 to try to help those nations come to a ceasefire. Uh, also, she reminded the crowd about the stark differences between her and the former president, Donald Trump. And of course, that got the crowd, went, made the crowd go crazy with excitement for her. Right. We will Maybe continue to bring you a wrap up tonight on the news at 7 and 11. I'm Dawn Baker, live from the In Market Arena in Savannah. All right. Thank